up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit different because as you may or may not know I'm starting, I repeat this in every single video, but I'm studying Norwegian all by myself. I don't even have an A1 or A2 level. I started from the very beginning. And at the same time I'm trying to improve my English because I feel I'm stuck and I want something more. So in this video I'm going to show you the 10 tips I use to study a new language. The first tip I'm showing you is to read books. And it's very simple if you think about it because the more you read the more you will acquire uh, new words and stuff like that. I decided to try a new method. Basically I was reading uh, the casebook of Sherlock Holmes. There are so many words that I don't know. So I decided to underline the words that I don't know and search the translation on the dictionary. And then I do this for a whole chapter and at the end of the chapter I write on a post-it all the words that I learn and I try to use them in sentences like utterly. This is utterly brilliant. Every time you start a new chapter, like revise the other words that you previously learned. Tips number two is to use a monolingual dictionary instead of a normal dictionary. I bought this when I was in high school, but now I rarely see people searching through the dictionary like this. We all have a phone and we all have internet, so we use that obviously. But um, if you don't know what a monolingual dictionary is, I think everyone knows that. But anyway, it's basically um, where you find a word that you're interested in and the meaning is explained in the same language. For example, patient in English says someone who is receiving medical treatment from a doctor or in a hospital. And it's also useful for uh, synonyms. If you are interested in an online dictionary, I will suggest you word references, which is the most famous and most common dictionary ever. You can find different languages and also synonyms, like you can choose English from English to Italian um, and vice versa, uh, English synonyms, Italian synonyms, another dictionary, Urban Dictionary. <laughs> you can search a word and they give you like the words of the day, like today is scaramucci, which is an Italian word, Why? how do they use this? A measurement of time, approximately 11 days. I will see you in a scaramucci. That's weird. Basically this is for slangs and colloquial words, uh, words that natives usually use. And this is monolingual. Everyone can write something about it. So maybe if you search for a word, people could have written different meanings according to what that word means to them. And also sentences, it's not just words or acronyms. As a website, I can suggest you Oxford dictionaries and free dictionaries. The third tip I can give to you is to speak out loud to yourself. So I do this every single day, <laughs> like when I'm in the shower, I think that I'm planning the thing that I have to do next. I will list them in English or if I'm preparing some meal, if I'm cooking, I repeat the things that I'm doing in English or in Spanish or in whatever language I'm studying. But you can do this for every single thing and I suggest you also to write a groceries list uh, like this. The fourth tip is a suggestion. You will find plenty of websites about any language existent, but at least for the grammar and the grammar's exercises, I suggest you to buy a book with the exercises and make sure that they will have the results at the end, otherwise it will be worthless. You can buy this sort of book in bookstores or on Amazon or eBay everywhere. This is an example where there is the grammar explanation and the exercises. The next tip I'm going to give you is to check online, obviously, and on YouTube. There are so many, 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 many 
YouTube pages about uh, languages. YouTube is pure gold if you want to learn a language. A website that helped me a lot is Future Learn. I feel I already talk about this website. Basically, they have free courses for any sort of thing, <laughs> music, uh, languages. I did my A1, A2 level of Norwegian. The next tip is one of the most obvious is to watch a movie in the language you are studying. Put the audio in the language you are studying and the subtitles in your native language. Welcome skal dere være. Vi har uh, så stor glede av at dere er her i dag. Um, I, dere kan jo introdusere dere selv. Dette her er Eva, Sama, Vilde. Vilde. Then, when you will be a bit comfortable with this, the video in the language you are studying and also the subtitles in the language you are studying. And eventually you have to just watch and listen without subtitles. Another thing I found really useful is to listen a lot. I downloaded these two apps about radio. One is the BBC Radio and the other one is Enarco, the Norwegian radio. When I'm cooking, or washing dishes, I always listen to uh, the Norwegian radio. So even if I understand one word, I think it's still useful that you listen so you can find and understand the pitch of the voice, the rhythm that they use, which for Norwegian is totally different from Italian. The next tip is my favorite, is to download apps. The best one is Memrise. I love this one. You can also use it on your computer. I'm A1 beginner, Norwegian. Uh, let's try to learn new words. 26. Did you? 26. And I have to choose. 27. 26 You can also download apps like pen polls where you can find friends all over the world There are plenty of them Blah blah Speaky is really good Dongal is the one that I have Tandem Global chat Travel poll Enneagram Walkie talk if you are lucky to find people with whom you can talk basically every day uh, in the language that you are studying, it's really helpful for you. This tip is a bit for advanced people, a bit advanced in this language, is to listen to podcasts. Uh, when I drive to my university, which is like two, almost two hours far from my house, I always, always listen to Jenna and Julian's podcast, Jenna Marbles, the YouTuber, or James Corden's monologues in the Late Late Night Show. But you can find podcasts basically everywhere, on iTunes, uh, some clouds. They are amazing to spend the time laughing or like listening to them, to new stories, and it's brilliant. And something that I found really, really useful while I'm watching websites where they teach languages or I'm studying or I'm doing exercises on the apps is to take notes. You can take notes basically everywhere. I wanted this. <laughs> so inside, it can look a bit childish, but I think your mind will easily remember something if you use many many colors or many doodles or different handwritings, different fonts. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it and tell me if you find these tips useful, if you already knew them, if you have other options, other way to study a new language. I will be really happy to read them and see you next week with another video. Bye!